What's up everybody, my name is Scott Paddock and today we are gonna talk about why overtones are so important. If you are a frequent watcher of saxophone tutorials, then you have definitely heard saxophone instructors talking about overtones. So you might be thinking, why are overtones so important? I actually got an email about this the other day, so I thought I would do a video explaining exactly why every saxophone teacher talks about overtones and how important they are in developing your tone. Before we get specific talking about overtones, let's just talk in general about what's going on with your tongue when you are playing the saxophone. Believe it or not, your tongue is moving around all over the place for the different notes that you're playing on the saxophone. As you play the saxophone, as you get better at playing the saxophone, your tongue realizes that, it, that, is, that if it is in different positions, those notes are gonna come out better, stronger, and be more supported. So your tongue is doing all kinds of work behind the scenes. So think about when you're talking, your tongue is doing all of this stuff to make the words come out. You're not really thinking about what your tongue is doing, your tongue is just doing its job and the correct words come out. The same thing is happening when you are playing the saxophone. So with overtones, we train our tongues to get in the right position to support the notes. So I call that tongue position. A lot of people call it voicing. But when you are practicing overtones, you are practicing tongue position to support your notes and get a really strong, big, fat, full tone. Let's start off by talking about the three basic tongue positions. So if you are trying to play a low note and your tongue is not in the low note position, that low note will not come out. It'll sound like a furp or some weird sound that is not the note you're going for. Something like this. The reason that note is not coming out clean and clear is because my tongue is not in the right position. The second I put my tongue in the correct position, that note is gonna pop right out. So your low note tongue position is ah. Say the word ah like you're trying to talk low. If you want your low notes to come out really crystal clear on the first try, get your tongue in the ah position and those notes will come out with no problem. The next tongue position is the A tongue position. And we don't really think about this tongue position very often because that's naturally where our tongues rest in our mouth. So if you say the word A, your tongue is just flat in your mouth. So all of the middle notes on, in your, on your saxophone, you wanna be in the A position. Those notes generally come out really well with no problem at all. Now, if I try to play one of those notes with my tongue in the wrong position, in the ah position, it's gonna go a little flat and it might not come out quite correctly. So when I have my tongue down really low, the air is not going into the saxophone correctly, so I get that really weird flat out of tune note. Of course, if I'm in the A position, that note pops out. Now I am saying A like in the word A, not A as in the note A on the saxophone. And your third basic tongue position is for your high notes. A lot of people have problems getting their high notes out and tune, and that almost 100% has to do with your tongue position. When you're playing your high notes, you wanna be in the E position. So say the word E, and your tongue goes up really high in your mouth, and that high note will pop right out. If I try to play that high D that I just played with my tongue in the A position, the note will either not come out or it'll be really flat. So if I have my tongue in the wrong position, those high notes will not come out. So I'm gonna start off with my tongue in the A position and then raise it up to the E position and you'll hear that note really clear up. So your three basic tongue positions are A, ah, A, and E. So if you get those three positions down, you'll be able to jump around on your saxophone and get those notes to pop out with no problems. As you can hear with my four octave interval jumps, I'm going octave, fifth, octave, fifth, octave, fifth, up to the uh, altissimo note. Those notes will pop out with no problems because my tongue is in the correct position. So now let's talk about why overtones are so important. Practicing overtones is generally your first step in actively working on your tongue position or voicing. So I use those uh, terms 
tongue position and voicing interchangeably. You hear a lot of people call it just voicing. To me, uh, it's a little confusing because piano players and guitar players call voicing the way they move from one chord to the next. Uh, when we're improvising, we call voice leading the way you uh, move from one chord to the next. So just to call something else on the saxophone, voicing just seems confusing. And voicing really has to do with your tongue position. So I just like to call it tongue position. Now this isn't gonna be a full-blown how to play overtones video. I've done some of those in the past. This is just answering the question, why are they, why are they so important? But when it comes to starting off with your overtones, you're gonna start off with your low notes, your low B flat, your low B, your low C, your low C sharp. And whichever one you're playing, if we're gonna start off on the low B flat, that is the fundamental. So that means that is the starter note. So this is your low B flat. From there, all you wanna do is change your tongue position to try to get the first overtone to come out. Your first overtone is an octave higher. So it would be your B flat on octave higher. But we wanna do that while playing the low B flat and using tongue position to get that first overtone to come out. And what you're gonna realize really quickly when you start working on overtones is that your air is gonna be moving faster, cleaner, smoother, and your tone is gonna to get bigger. Overtones are one of the quickest, fastest, and easiest ways to greatly improve how fat or wide or big your tone is. Overtones fix that immediately the more you work on them. You're gonna hear a difference right away when you start working on your overtones because overtones are all about breath support and tongue position. So from there, we go to an octave and a fifth. So that would be your F if we're doing it on the B flat. So it would sound like this. But of course, we wanna play it with the fundamental note of the low B flat and get that octave and a fifth, which is the F to sound. Now, if your tongue is not in the correct position, you're not gonna get a clean overtone. You're gonna get something like this. Where you have a couple different things going on. So with overtones, you're practicing getting your tongue in the correct position so that the correct overtone note will come out. That trains your tongue to pay a really close, at a close attention to the way it is putting air into the saxophone. So you wanna make sure that your tongue is in the correct position and practicing your overtone and getting clean overtones is a really great step in that direction. So if I get my tongue in the correct position, that note pops out with no problem. So if I play the fundamental, then the first overtone and the second overtone, I'm using my tongue position to make the correct note sound. So the reason that overtones are so important is because they force you to pay really close attention to your tongue position and the way that you are putting your air into the saxophone. So even though uh, you can get a lot of mileage out of long tones, and you should definitely practice your long tones, if you wanna take your tone to the next level and get your tone to be wider, more full, fatter, more controlled, more supported, then you definitely want to work on overtones. If you'd like to get started with learning overtones or you've already been working on them, but you'd like to get them to sound a whole lot better, then I'd like to invite you to come check out the Scott Paddock Sax School. In my sax school, I have an entire section dedicated to overtones where I show you step-by-step step from the very beginning of getting your first overtone, how to practice it, how to move on to the next overtone, how to work on them together. It's just an entire step-by-step -step process where at the end, you'll have a complete understanding and mastery of overtones. In addition to the overtone section, I have lessons and courses dedicated to just about anything you wanna learn how to do on the saxophone. So if you're looking to master the basics of the saxophone or start your improv journey or get really good at playing melodies, stop by the Scott Paddock Sax School today. I'll put a link in the video description. Now, if you've watched some of my videos in the past, you know that I like to use overtones functionally. In other words, I like to use them in solos, but even if you don't like that modern sound of using overtones in your solos, 
working on overtones is still super important because it's going to fatten up your sound and give you a lot more control over the air going into your saxophone. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you'd like to dive deeper into my saxophone world, come check me out at the Scott Paddock Sax School. Thank <laughs> you.